One, New York. The Empire State of New York, with several significant places and enmities, including the Liberty Statue, is on the edge right now. This state faced the biggest population loss of all time, which sent shivers down the U.S. spine. As of the reports, New York lost 0.91% of its population from 2021 to 2022, which is equivalent to 180,000 people. As can be guessed, the major reason behind this massive decline is the state's highest tax rates. The state shares a total tax burden of 12.47%, which makes it the highest tax burden state in the entire country. If we compare this tax burden to the lowest tax burden state, Alaska, it is only 5%. Besides taxes, the cost of living in New York is nevertheless higher, with an immense index of 125. Also, the housing index is 173, which is 73 times more than the median national limit of 100 index. As of 2023, the median house in New York is sold for a staggering $819,900, 400,000 more than the U.S. median house rate of $418,083. The rent is also expensive, making it the second highest rental state after Hawaii. Renting one room in New York costs around $1,678, which is way too much. Most people moving from New York are up the remote work so they are not particularly concerned with their jobs and earnings. However, the expenses of living in New York are what made them worry. In fact, as of 2020, the total workforce in New York decreased at a higher rate as most people opted for remote opportunities. By 2021, the state already initiated a population decline, and the years after were not too good for New York. Even though the U.S. is the dream destination for many people residing around the globe, not all states of the U.S. are worth living or even moving. The decline of these states is already on the edge, and nothing good is coming anytime soon. So, it is not a good move to step into these states to find a sound lifestyle.